Yes, you down there. You, work faster. You over there, stop building that and move over somewhere else more practical. Get some more trees planted. What's going on with you? Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Uh, welcome to this, uh, my tower, uh, where I can survey the scene and, uh, and instruct people to... Oh, I seem to have jumped out. Never mind. Um, yes, I was, I was just in my little uh, command outpost there uh, to try and keep people uh, properly uh, assigned to the tasks uh, that, uh, that they should be applying. Um, we've made a little bit of progress since you were last here, and, uh, and that progress looks like what? Uh, well, I've assigned this as a housing estate. Uh, I've also told my new forester, who is, uh, who is now established... So it's the little hunting lodge here uh, is now established. I've instructed them uh, to, uh, to to basically centre parks up the rest of the island. Here uh, we've got uh, we've got reforestation going on uh, down the side of the pathway. Got that house out of the way. That's all. That's all super as well. Um, meanwhile, we've got the uh, the new warehouse is uh, is finally functioning. Uh, finally or finally. It's doing both those things, and uh, and that's that's going splendidly. Um, yes, we're we're planning on uh, on sheeping today. Sheeping is what we're going to do uh, because these two chaps are, are making a sterling job at, uh, at deforesting this area. Uh, you know, global warming is less of our concern at the moment because uh, it's only the hot countries that really suffer anyway. Uh, and meanwhile, we've got uh, a new well stuck in here to bump the uh, the desirability up for these chaps. Uh, the one thing we don't have nearby is a church, uh, which they may possibly uh, find of value and or interest. Uh, but keeping some of the housing as a, as a very nice kind of rustic area, I don't see any harm in that at all. Uh, as you can see, it's all, it's all coming along quite nicely. Uh, the only concern I've got at the moment is we are a little light on food. Um, that's, that's a bit of a concern. Uh, I'm pretty sure these fishing huts are all packing. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, yeah. See, look, we've got we've got a goodly amount of fish uh, just waiting to be picked up. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty fish waiting to be picked up. It's not a it's not an enormous amount, but it's uh, it's not insignificant either. And uh, and as you have probably noticed, we just got a couple of new uh, uh, a new berry huts up and going. We are gonna we're gonna strip mine these bushes and uh, and prosper as a result. Now one of the good things that happens is if you ever bulldoze a building and uh, and you end up with people just kind of, you know, larking around going, well I'm unemployed at the moment but I still have a trade, uh, is until you assign them to a new job, uh, they will immediately jump into the old job they have. Uh, regrettably, however, I have never laid off a forager ever. But, uh... Uh, never say never. There we go. All right. Okay, we're too short on that one. Well, that's the that's the next two immigrants sorted when they come in. Um, we know exactly what we're going to do with that. Uh, right. What does the king want today? He wants some berries. You can't have them. No, I'm keeping them all at the moment. I'm, I'm a little concerned about our food consumption. We have grown reasonably significantly of late, and uh, and as a result, we might want to uh, might want to just take it easy for a bit. Uh, now, having relocated two lumber camps over here, the Johnny Forester is having a tough time keeping up with the uh, with the demand. So a secondary forestation camp, I think, is probably going to be necessary, as is uh, a bit more berry harvestation as well. Uh, you'll forgive me if the if the language gets a bit technical, but I'm I'm pretty sure you'll keep up. Uh, right, so we'll have another foresting hut. Well, I don't know where would where would, uh, where would be good. Just about here, I reckon. Uh, we're going to reforest this entire area, given half a chance, and uh, and that should uh, that should work out nicely. Uh, we'll stick another uh, bunch of, of, of berry wanglers on there, and uh, and another lot on there as well. Uh, obviously, I'm going to need some people to work those, um, but we can we can worry about that in the fullness of time. Uh, let's make sure we've got the right level of uh, of reforestation occurring. Uh, you know, crank that up to max. There you go. You can forest. You forest the hell out of all of this. Uh, I'll tidy it up in a sec. Hang on. There you go. Yeah. Go. Uh, go foresting mad. Why don't you? Uh, and then actually we'll say, but don't obviously reforest the sea because uh, that does no no no. 
don't there you go that's that's the don't button you have to press the don't button rather than the do button otherwise everything goes skew with uh right bang this all out of uh out of alignment and uh, and then we can get on with something else there you go drawing little pictures reminds me very much of being in geography uh now i don't know if this translates overseas or not uh but in the uk um uh, a good portion of your geography lesson uh as a uh, as a young individual uh is spent with a uh, uh a blue um pencil crayon are they all called pencil crayons aren't they yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, with a blue pencil crayon, um, colouring in coastline on maps. Now, I only thought about this recently, and it occurred to me shortly after doing so, that this was basically just a swizz. Uh, this was an easy way for geography teachers to just go and go, right, today is a photocopy of a map, colouring the coastline. Now, remember to do the correct shading technique. Total rubbish. Uh, what you were learning from this is uh, is nothing to do with geography whatsoever. I'm, I'm surprised it took me this long uh, to realise that I'd been uh, I'd been played for a fool uh, by my geography teachers uh, when I was a young man. Um, but uh, I've learned it now, and uh, and I'm not impressed. I'm also considering a career as a geography teacher because that appears to be a complete doddle. Uh, in today's lesson, children. Colour this map in. Right, there you go. That's it. What's it a map of? Doesn't really matter. Uh, it could be Middle Earth. Uh, I mean, you'd, you'd learn just as much. Uh, arguably, you'd have more fun. Yeah, colour in this Death Star. Be sure to shade in the edges correctly. What a waste of my time. I didn't learn anything from that, and I was also flipping hopeless at it. Uh, right, okay, we've got some houses going up, and uh, and that's all. that's all jolly lovely. Uh, we've got uh, we've got berries now being acquired, and uh, and the berry stash uh, appears to reflect the fact that we do have some berries going on. Um, I may need to extend the fishing village a little bit, but I think what I'll probably end up doing is uh, is adding a second fishing village over to uh, to uh, housing zone two, uh, rather than expanding housing zone one any further. Uh, keep things ticking along. I'm keeping half an eye on the uh, on the old bank balance there, uh, just to ensure that uh, that that stays in order as well. So, sheep. That's why you're here. That's what you came to see. Uh, let's uh, let's make it happen. We've got our we've got our first warehouse, and it's doing quite well. It's fully stocked on lumber, as you can see. And uh, uh, to be honest, it, that lumber's not going anywhere uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, no, not trade. What are you? What are you thinking there? Try, uh, try this. Yeah, that's a good place to start. Now then, where am I going to stick me weavers, and where am I going to stick me tailors? Yes. Uh, right, weavers. I think uh, I I want kind of a like a, a weavers column here. In fact, I want another warehouse before I get to that. Uh, do we want them all with the same facing, or or should we have a jaunty angle going on? in order to make things feel organic. Well, we don't want to join... We want the angle to be uh, robust. There you go. See, look, that looks good. Uh, right, okay, second warehouse. We won't bother populating it for the time being, uh, but it, what that will do is uh, it should set up what will inevitably become some form of high street. Uh, right, okay, weaving. No, no, probably like that. I don't like this bridge. Just, I'm just saying. I think I'll probably hold on. Uh, yeah. Okay. When uh, when the time is right, I will probably lay a stone bridge across there. I love how I'm using a weaver's shop as a as a as a med, as a pointer here. And then we will uh, we'll continue that in a straight line over there, and it will look good. Or else. Okay. Yeah, that works. Because uh, I want to replace all these wooden bridges with uh, with stone. Uh, monstrosities uh, in the fullness of time but uh, we'll start out by by keeping it simple right, we'll bang one in there and then we'll stick another one right next to it right so we're going to store all of the uh, the untreated the unfiltered the unloved wool uh, in the storage area here and uh, and we'll turn that into uh, into thread I guess. Uh, right, okay, now, the reason that sheep farming is going to be exciting for us 
because it is, uh, is that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bang three in here. Uh, now, obviously, I don't have the population to make this work, uh, but uh, but you know that's that's never been something that's held me back historically. Uh, we'll put a little one here, yeah, and then uh, another one, sort of next to it, sort of. Yes, we might even reforest around the edges of this in order to make it look glamorous and uh, and uh, splendid. There you go. Right, three of them. I don't need any priorities doing on that. We'll prioritise this one. Uh, that way, uh, I can delete the uh, the existing one, and, uh, and we can start to reclaim our land in the middle. Uh, we don't want any peasants anywhere near any of that. I'm going to turn it into lots of picturesque gardens and, uh, and what have you, uh, because uh, I'm worth it. They're not. No, peasants certainly aren't worth it, but I flip in them. Uh, right. And part of me wonders whether I could squeak a church in here somewhere. Wait until you've done the bridges. All right, make that as part of your your bridge. Uh, fix them up a kind of a kind of an idea, and uh, and and you'll you'll know better whether that was the case. So once I've got these sheep farms up, I'm gonna I'm gonna fence them in with some some decorative nonsense uh, because uh, because that'll be lovely. Right, now then, while we're still thinking about that, let's go and have a look at the uh, the stone bridge and how that's coming along. I'm facing entirely the wrong way. Uh, here we go, stone bridge, look. Isn't that a sight to behold? It only needs about another million units of stone. What are we talking here? 50-odd. Uh, so 40... What are we... Uh, so 47 lumps of stone. We'll have that done. Uh, but, uh, but Captain Hammer here is... He's giving it what for? There you go. Yeah, go on. Go on. Just smack it. Go on, just belt that thing with your hammer for all you're worth. Uh, and, uh, and get that done. Because this island over here... In fact, probably eventually the whole thing I'm going to turn into fields. Uh, I remember when all this used to be fields. Well, it, it is now. Now it is fields. And, uh, and we're going to make sure that that's, that's well fielded up. Uh, up in the business. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed, and uh, and I haven't got a solution for it at the moment, is that I'm going to want to uh, to do another bridge across here at some point in the future. So, uh, whoever you are, don't get too attached to the. I mean, don't don't put it in your will as something to hand down to your children, because I'm gonna I'm gonna drive a flipping bulldozer through it. Uh, we'll move the fishing hut out of the way to get through there. That's a that's a place of work. They're they're less fussed about that. Um, and then we're going to want another bridge that goes over here as well. But that's that's less of a concern. I see we've we found a fishing hot spot just there, and uh, and they all want a bit of it. Oh no, you think you found somewhere? But oh no, you're heading back over here. Okay, I tell you what, I want you off my island as well. We've still got one, two, what three, three fishing folk on uh, uh, on Presidential Island. No, we've. I'm not gonna. We're not standing for that. That's, that, that can't be allowed to pass. Uh, right, okay, there we go. So we got Warehouse 2 is up and frisking. Uh, that's a good show. Um, uh, but we're going to leave it without uh, without any staff at the moment. What do you want? Bread in exchange for sword fighting behaviour. I don't need it at the moment. Um, maybe later. Uh, come back to me when uh, when you've got a more coherent uh, a coherent suggestion that uh, that I find agreeable. Uh, right, okay, well look, I mean, the deforestation over here is coming along. Uh, we're going to get rid of all of this lot as well. Now, I, I noticed from watching somebody else's videos, actually, but uh, when you reforest, you only do pines. You don't do any of these other luxurious tree types. Now, that's not a deal breaker for me. I, I'll, uh, I'll accept uh, the deforestation of the pine tree. No, the, uh, the non-pine tree. Um, that's, that's okay. Uh, give me another reforester here, otherwise this lot is going to run out of steam and, uh, and then woe betide us all. Uh, happiness is 55. That's a that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's it. Get them working. Work them. Um, and uh, it's going to start dropping unless I keep the food stocks up. So I think those three fishers that I wanted to get shot of, let's relocate them over here. Right. Have we got that the right? No, you want the little ladder into the water. Don't reforest that. I'm I'm putting in some fishing huts. You nana brain. 
Uh, we'll, we'll have one here. That's, uh, that's agreeable. There you go. No, won't we? Yeah, we will. Uh, and then we'll have another one here. Yeah, and, uh, and we'll have some more. Uh, because obviously while I've got kind of, you know, free-for-all uh, immigration going on, they don't turn up very often, but it can get out of hand quite quickly unless you stay on top of things. And the way that you notice it's come out of hand, uh, they've got out of hand, is uh, is when everybody starts starving to death. Uh, so over-indexing on uh, on fishing villagery uh, is a is a, an astute thing to do. Uh, see, look, another two come in. We're up to 126 now. It's 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 only going to go upwards. Right, Weaver's Hut is good. Right, Old Weaver's Hut is going to be bull to the dozed. Uh, you've got 21 in stock. Well, I'll tell you what, how about we... If we disassociate those folks... Get disassociated. Folks, folks, oi, you, oi. Come on, you're fired. Ah, uh, maybe they are fired. Nope, they're still there. They're stubbornly sticking in the job, despite the fact I want them out. Uh, because then we can we can grab the cloth uh, without uh, without producing any more. Although we will we will hoover up some more sheep in the process. Get gone. Get out of my facility. Tell you what, I've got no no. All I can do there is uh, is change their. The, uh, you know what? I can't be bothered waiting. There you go. That's that sorted. Uh, and then uh, they should auto reassign over to this one. I guess not. All right. Well, that did the trick anyway. Uh, two brand new people taking on a, a handy career as a weaver uh, to do the weaving there. Now then, we're also going to need to move the tailor. Uh, and they, you've actually got nothing in stock at the moment, which is that's. I mean, that's a, a slightly concerning sign. Uh, but it's uh, but it's not one that fills me full of dread and or deep consternation. Uh, so uh, we'll get the uh, the tailor's workshop here and uh, some kind of oh yeah that's nice. Yeah, you can sit sit at your workbench, uh, observe the comings and goings of, uh, of various various foot traffic. Should we stick number two in now? Yeah, I think we will. I'm not planning to make too many uh, housing estates of this kind, uh, but I think it's pretty inevitable that I will. Uh, right, okay, now then, you lot, you're going to be number one. There you go. Uh, let's, uh, let's put you in the uh, priority action item system, and, uh, and that will be super duper, because uh, once you're built, we can, uh, we can bulldoze another bit of sheep action. And I don't know what this, this path is that you think might be a thing in the future, because it probably won't be. Because uh, I want to make this beautiful. Uh, there, there will be considerable beauty uh, in this uh, in this section of land in the near future. Right, our centre park's going. We do have all of this assigned to be reforested. I'm pretty sure I said it was to be reforested. Yes, you're set to be reforested. Also, what would be good is... What if I right-click on this? No, no. What if I shift-click? No. Okay, that's not it. Uh, the, what would have been useful is, is to be able to see one zone at a time, uh, rather than them just overlaying each other. Uh, I mean, don't worry, it's, it's, it, it, it's not a deal break. There we go. See, that's what I was worried about. I, I was concerned about that. We are now... Uh, this market is completely out of food. Oh... All right, we're growing. We're growing too quickly, and uh, and not scaling our uh, our food production at a at a fast enough rate. Still, new fishing hut. That's uh, that's not bad. There we go. We'll have a brand new fisher person in that one. Uh, yeah, uh, and and I think the, the the major sticking point is going to be uh, is going to be bread. Uh, these guys sit around doing naff all for quite a lot of time. Um, now, I don't know whether that is due to uh, to the harvest cycle or something along those lines. Uh, it's certainly laid out in a way that should be productive. Uh, everything is everything is relatively close to, to where it needs to be. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this well. Nobody nobody lives there anymore, so uh, so the well is 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 pretty much superfluous. Um, yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, good. Okay. Well, look. I mean, this is—it's all coming on. Um, the, we're, we're certainly making headway uh, in the uh, in the areas that we want to uh, 
Uh, we want to start producing. How's my uh, how's my bridge? <gasps> it's only done. Oh, oh, look at that. That's a that's a monstrous edifice, and no mistake. Uh, all right, brilliant. And that should allow me to actually build up a, a stockpile of stone for a little bit, so that I can start working on uh, uh, on the next bridge, which is going to be one of the bridges we've we've had previously, just done again, because. Uh, you know, the, the, I mean, this is the nature of the game, is that you build stuff in a, in a fairly erratic and slapdash fashion to begin with, and then go, hold on, I can do that better. So you do it again, but better. Um, and, it's, uh, and it's certainly in line with uh, the uh, uh, measure once, cut once, bulldoze everything. Right, get bulldozed. There you go, that's the sheep farm relocated. Uh, an envoy from Matey Boys requesting an audience. All right. What do you want? Yes? Hello! I'm here from your neighbours. I want you to have some soldiers for us. There you go. Go on him. Off you go. Yeah. Go on, lads. Go beat the hell out of something. Uh, come back with the money. That would be, that would be uh, beneficial. Uh, right. I'm not entirely sure what that accent was, but it was totally authentic. Uh, no matter. No matter which way you cut it. Uh, right, what are you storing at the moment? You've got some tools, you've got some planks, you've got some shirts, and you've got some polished stone. Basically, what you're telling me is uh, you built that with no real plan in mind. I did have a plan in mind. The plan was in mind. Good. Okay. Oh, look. Oh, hello. Right. Uh, we've got a sheep farmer on that one. We haven't got one on this one. We'll, we'll bang a sheep farmer on that one as well. Uh, also, sheep farm three. Oh, it's, uh, it's already happening, look. Uh, right. Spam sheep. That'll do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the sheeps. Oh, flipping sheep as far as the eye can see. Right, this lot. And have some sheep. There we go. Right, good. That's a, that's a goodly collection of sheep there. So by the time we're done with all of this, uh, we're going to be doing, it's going to be sheep fest, uh, whatever year it is. Uh, uh, AD 796. Uh, right, now then, I want to put round here, and I don't know if this is going to work at all, uh, is I want a fence. There you go, fence. Five gold? That better be for the whole fence, not just one part. That's a flipping expensive fence. Uh, can't I have uh, can I have hedges? No. It's it's fence or nout. Okay. Well, I, I could possibly benefit from a little bit of uh, exterior land here in order to, to fence this adequately. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll see what we get. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, oh, this is going to be a, this is going to be a hassle. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to eyeball this all the way. All right, I'm gonna be a while doing this, uh, and I'm not gonna make you sit through it because uh, there is only a finite amount of entertainment to be derived from watching me carefully place one piece of fence. Uh, I mean, I could always do a load of it and, and bang some dubstep on the top, and, and you'll be uh, you'll be flipping thrilled. Uh, but uh, but no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, right, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching today. I'm out of money. All right, I've got concerns. Uh, I'll be back soon with the next instalment in this series, and you are recommended, nay, advised, uh, to subscribe to ensure that you are here for that. Uh, I'll catch up with you very soon. Thanks very much for watching. This is, this is going to look quite nice. Uh, cheerio. Now, that's a lot of sheep. Um, now, I, what I haven't spotted, of course, now that I'm starting to plunk these fences in, is that not only do they cost five gold a pop, they also cost one tools each. That's, a, that's an outrage. Uh, that's, a, that's an extraordinary amount of money for one bit of fence. You can at least let me plunk one bit of fence in and then stretch it out. Uh, to reach a good... Nah, it's, yeah, I guess not. Uh, anyway, as long as the sheep abide by their new fenced enclosure, then uh, then all will be well. And uh, all I need to work on is, is making sure that the, uh, the sheepy outcome is delivered where it needs to be. 
I don't know why I'm going quite so sinister with that, uh, but uh, but I felt it it deserved some gravitas. Uh, anyway, tune in next time where uh, we will see what the sheep are up to, along with whatever else. Hmm.